the last hour, a judge denied the prosecution's request for the former Patriot tight end's recordings of his prison phone calls, saying prosecutors didn't make a sufficient case for the records. They claim contain coded messages used by Hernandez about his criminal liability. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly has been in court all day long. He joins us now live in Fall River with more details. If you're keeping score at home, this amounts today here at Superior Court in Fall River to a split decision. The prosecution in the murder case against Aaron Hernandez won one and the defense won one too. Aaron Hernandez mouthed the words, I love you, to his family as he entered a packed courtroom. And the mother of murder victim, Odin Lloyd, was visibly upset from time to time as lawyers on both sides of this emotionally charged murder case took each other on. There is nothing underhanded about what we're trying to do. Prosecutors came here asking a judge to allow them access to telephone calls Aaron Hernandez made from jail. But the defense argued against that, calling the request a fishing expedition. I mean, this is, if this is what they say they need to try the case, uh, one wonders about the, all the representations they're making in court about, you know, what a, what a strong case they have against Mr. Hernandez. The judge denied the request, saying she needs what's known as an affidavit about why the prosecution believes the telephone calls are relevant. She did allow the prosecution to make a second request by filing such an affidavit. And with an affidavit that contains enough detail to enable the court to determine the reliability of the hearsay uh, without knowing how many layers of hearsay there are. There's no way for the court to determine whether the hearsay is reliable. Prosecutors have never revealed publicly who they believe pulled the trigger in the murder of Odin Lloyd. And today, Aaron Hernandez's lawyers tried to force them to do that. We'll go there, new at 6. Live in Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.